Hello, welcome to Hoi for base game this time. I had three, two recordings before this one. This is my third time recording Hoi for today. I just, I tried the Fallout mod, wasn't feeling it. Tried Kaiserite, wasn't feeling it. So I thought, you know what, let's go for an achievement. You know, why not, right? Why not? The achievement we're going for is this one. Well, it's not the easiest, it's not the hardest either. So, uh, let's see what happens, eh? Wow, Estonia has a lot of... A lot of, uh... <laughs> I, uh, I don't... I don't... I... I don't... I... No. Alright, there's been a change of plans. Everything else is the same. Our goal is the same. However, I want historical turned off. I want a little bit of madness. Now, Estonia does have one of the stronger armies when it comes to the three Baltic states. And if I'm not wrong, also get some of the... Never mind, Latvia gets the better resources. Alright, beautiful. There's already one civil war. One thing I have noticed with base game historical AI turned off is these three usually go civil war, France usually goes communist, and Italy stays like Italy. It doesn't really change. What is this march we're gonna be doing? Oh wait, oh no. We're going down the fascist route. Well, that's not fun. We're we're doing allied investment while well, simultaneously we're doing fascist marches in our country. We're gonna go with concentrated industry as our industry is never really big when you start with any of these countries. Even Sweden, like they've got a decent industry, but I mean, militarily at least, it certainly isn't amazing. Now, now, I know this is, you know, this is real high end right now, but bear with me. We'll get there eventually. As Estonia secure Scandinavia? Oh my god. I didn't even know that's a, uh... Okay. We're going for a 2 and one boys. Yeah, we're gonna need Leningrad. God damn it. A way we can take it. I believe if you manage to take Leningrad and push into here, they'll end up piecing out and you could keep Leningrad. The problem is we'll still need Luga anyways. The thing is I need to take these guys out early because... If they go for Kaiser, Kaiser eventually gets, uh, yeah, safeguard the Baltics. Which is not fun. Yep, <laughs> what did I tell you? Poland and Germany and Russia are the main three that have civil wars almost every time without fail. Not bad at all. Do you want me to join me so I could help you? Okay, I can't. Okay. Well, let's hope they win because I can't join them. Well, I don't even know how they're doing at this point. They're losing land, they're winning land. I don't know, man. Oh, hey, we finally got some decent divisions. Did he just laugh? Haha! <laughs> <laughs> That's all I heard from that. Soviet Union declared on Soviet Union. Oh my god. We have a chance to really do some damage. All I want is this. That's all I want. If I could take Leningrad and Luga, I am a happy, happy camper. For that, I want to take out these lot. If we just mindlessly push, we will eventually push through. It works every time, boys, trust me. Oh, I don't even have the numbers. I don't even have the people to, uh... To actually pump out some more planes. But either way, the best part is that they are also in a civil war. Oh, yeah! I just realized, I did mention that all three of these get into a civil war almost every time. And they, they went into a civil war. <laughs> it, Every time, dude. Every time. But Russia being in a civil war is really, really good for us. Oh, I got a war go against uh, against Russia. Not bad. Unfortunately, it's a different Russia. 
We'll wait. We'll wait on that one. Oh, look. That's kind of close to my hometown. I'm like a player. Hey, this looks familiar. We've generated 10%. Okay. That's no fun, but hey, it is what it is. Ooh, we might as well start preparing on the uh, on the offensive. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna try and take out the SS SSSR. Uh, what I'm hoping happens is I just like yoik a bunch of this land. It'll make it a lot easier to defend as well because now Russia can't have forces up here. Ooh, but at the same time. Taking out Sweden would be pretty good to do first because the higher that is, the harder it's gonna be to take them out. And I don't think we're gonna need Norway for the Baltic thing. I believe we only need to take out Sweden, Germany, Poland, and Russia. So in fact, Karelia isn't even much of an issue for me. We've got nothing else but to push. So here goes nothing. 24 divisions. I. Where's the closest supply hub here? There. So we're gonna have to push the supply hubs quite heavily. They're going to attempt a naval invasion, which hopefully will be fine. I have plenty of troops on the borders. Don't have any airports to help out there, but at least this section's gonna be safe. Wow, look at that navy! Holy good lord! In fact, we're gonna go for an aggressive push. It's, go it's not gonna go well here. We're gonna lose quite a lot of... Oh, yeah. Northern part, we're gonna need to micro. I'm gonna get to that hub. Okay, never mind. I guess I'm not getting to that hub. Everyone is out of supply, goddammit. What? I just... I just realized what happened. The soldier from there moved down to reinforce. I've never seen that. What? Is that, like, new to, like, by, by blood alone or... or, or, or or did they always do that? I never realized. Surely they did it. Like, this guy did the same. He came from here to reinforce the coast where it was being attacked. That's crazy. What? That's a really good feature. Oh, dear. My convoys. Okay. Um, no more ships until we saw out our... All right. Everyone is out of supply at this point. No connection to- Oh, god damn it, no connection because it's- Yeah, okay. Just realize I don't have a land bridge. We're gonna need to allow those transports to, to just sink. There's nothing we could do about it. Because they have a lot more ships than I do, that's for sure. Wow, look at that supply! Whoo! -wee. Amazing! Why is it still red? What? <laughs> <laughs> I guess we just don't have enough tra Yeah, we don't have enough trains, I'm guessing. Just keep pushing. Push through it! More organization, more defense, finally. Very nice. I don't even want to know how these people are walking in the mountains with no supply. These people are starving. And they're pushing through it like absolute chads. Look at the size of the allies. Oh, it's not even that big. Why is it... Oh, it's because... Britain went off and released everything here and that's why it's like it's inflated the allies I was like oh my god look at the size of them and then you actually look at them on the map it's like oh oh that's it these guys would definitely join the allies if I declare on them so I'm not even gonna touch them I do need them for one of them but for for one of the achievements but the one I'm going for please go away is this one France joined the German Empire Okay, there's that that war just expanded a lot bigger. Wow. Um, fighting Germany is going to be a problem. Oh my good lord. Could you imagine? Oh, what is this shit? Get out of... Wow, wow, that was a lot of them. What happened? Oh, Britain just lost a bunch of these. They all just... Did they just leave the faction? I don't even know what happened. Anyways, doesn't matter. They're literally moments away from capping the port that I just made. Like, where are you going? No. No!
Why it took too long? Oh. Interesting. I could work with them. They'd hold me against Russia, that's for sure. I'll join. Oh, here's the British. Oh, there's still a lot of Swedes left. Wait, I just realized. I don't even have to own the land. I just have to control it. All the rest of the land that's left is Poland and Germany. Excluding these two. There's still these two provinces. Wait, where the hell did my planes go? Oh. You know what? Yeah, okay. That's fair. That makes sense. That's fair. At the same time, it's kind of stupid. I was like, what? what are they going to do? We know how to build it. We have it on paper. Right? Surely they didn't come into our building and they're like, listen, we're going to need the schematics for our plane back. You can't use it. I was like, what? Excuse me? At least they didn't take their planes back. Right, well, in that case, we need, uh, we need a new plane. We can't quite make one just yet, but that's not a problem. How many... What is going on? I don't even know who I'm at war with anymore and who's important to, to worry about. What is go- What is this? Alright, alright, let's have a look. Britain needs to die. Yeah, that's about it. That's it. Britain needs to go. <laughs> look at the army marching up. Just look at them. Some of these, look at that army just marching all the way up to take out the tank. Oh Sweden, oh Sweden, you sure did make a mistake on that one. Granted, I don't think we're gonna be able to do what we wanted to just because of how strong Germany is. And we just don't have the numbers. Like we do not have the numbers to be able to push Germany. But that aside, we're not gonna be able to do the achievement I wanted to, but we're gonna be able to do this one, right? I we should be able to. And one thing that I find really interesting about playing Estonia is that it's really easy. <laughs> really, really easy. Sweden was a piece of cake. Sure, it was terrible, terrible supply. But that aside, it was so easy. Like, I didn't panic at any time where I was like, oh no, oh no, this is not gonna go well. I, God damn it! I felt confident enough to fight the USSR. Right, can we, can we, yes we can. Well, right, let's see how this goes. Denmark joined the allies, straight away. 93! Alright, this is... This is gonna take a while. The thing with pushing this goddamn province, is you push them out, they will just join right back in the, into the fight. What is going on? Someone's navy got absolutely wrecked. That is not bad for a 10 width paratrooper. All right, now we need to make a lot of transport planes. So uh, let's 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 drop it on some of this stuff. And boom goes Denmark. Now, all things considered, these ships are trapped. Right. Right, we just need a drop on Gotland, and one of our goals will be achieved, which is this one. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, we're still gonna need to take out Norway. Okay. It's fine, look at our troops on that border. Not a problem. More than happy to take out Norway. I'm ecstatic about it. Oh my god, you're at war with Italy as well now. Jesus, Italy, you chose the wrong uh, wrong time to to start fighting people. These guys, I'm surprised you guys are not dead yet. Don't get me wrong, I'm very happy you're not, because you're giving me all the time I need to bloody prepare. Spanish France. What on earth is going on on this planet? Spanish France. Oh, the US has their own alliance. Thank you. Okay. Granted, like, I know I shouldn't... I, c I suppose I could drop 
behind them, but I'm not gonna have any supplies. So, I just don't see how- well, you know what? We'll just drop behind them. And just pray that it goes a little better. Oh dear, the British are there. Mm. What? No way. I just pushed the British out? Alright, well that solves my, my problem. Fantastic, I don't have to worry about that front anymore. I can now worry about this front. <laughs> Nora, you're not lucky. You're getting, you're getting guaranteed by Denmark and, and Sweden. Sweden is that, and uh, Denmark... Oh, Denmark's not even there anymore. Denmark just doesn't... Oh, and Denmark is that. You're getting guaranteed by countries you don't want to be guaranteed by. Sorry to say, but it's not a very good deterrent. <laughs> I want the fastest goddamn invasion you have ever done. Just cut off all of the ports straight away. That's what's most important. I'm surprised they left all of this region just out in the open. Alright, how's, uh, how's our little invasion going? Well, it's going. We did it! SD is candy. We did it. If it wasn't for Sweden joining the Allies, I think we would have had a pretty good bet against Germany as well. Because we would have been able to actually capture all of that land. And so it wouldn't be as hostile to us. It would it'd be a bit more, um, what's the word for it? It'd be a bit more complacent. There you go. It's not the easiest. I mean, that other achievement is definitely harder to do. But hey, we got, we, we got Scandinavia as Estonia. Pretty, pretty nice. But yeah, I mean, that's it for this video. It's... I mean, I finished recording. It's 4.30. And ever since 11 a.m., I've been looking for a game to record. It's It's been tough finding something that I've, been, I've, in, I've enjoyed to record today. <laughs> Either way, apologies for not getting the, the achievement I initially wanted, but we got a different one. Fantastic, right? But yeah, uh, sorry for not uploading yesterday. Been busy with university work. Might not even be upload tomorrow. I, I, I need to catch up. I haven't done much uh, recently. But uh, yeah, that's about it. If you enjoyed the video, fantastic. Might as well leave a like. Might as well sub. You'd be pretty cool for doing so. If you didn't enjoy the video, that's unfortunate. But hey, you might as well still sub. Because, uh, well, you might like my next video. You never know. But um, yeah, that's about it. See ya.